What's going on everyone? Yo Max made a bunch of changes in Defiance. Are they good or are they bad? Let's talk about it. It's Mike, the tactical stock scalper. You know, uh, let me start here. As with any business, if you do not adapt to your competition, okay? And if you do not listen to your customers, you will go out of business. That's just it. If Yield Max would have stood pat with their current model and not adapted to the competition like Round Hill, um, they would probably be in trouble in the long term. Particularly with Round Hill coming up with weekly funds, whenever those get released, you know, they're individual ETFs on individual tickers. That'll be paid weekly. Yulmax knows those are coming online. Yulmax knows that they're going to take money, Rock Hill will, from Yulmax, right? Because of that strategy. Every, I don't say everybody, a lot of people like, weekly pay, weekly pay. You know, for me personally, it's whatever. Um, that's not an appeal for me as an investor. Um, but it is to a lot of people. So, Yield Max listen to their customers, they adapt to the competition. That's a good thing as far as I'm concerned, that they don't stamp that, that they see the landscape for what it is, and they make the necessary changes to fit, you know, their model. Okay. Uh, YMAX and YMAG going to weekly distributions. For me, it's, am I excited about it? Well, no, because see, well, am I happy about it? Am I sad about it? I'm neither, I'm, I'm neutral, because I think it's a neutral play. Um, like, I sold out of YMAX yesterday, bought YMAG this morning. I did a video on why I did that. Uh, my last video, so you have to look at that one. But my reasoning for buying uh, YMAG had nothing to do with changing the weekly pay. It was because it has seven funds. They're not going to add, hopefully, crap to it like they are doing currently with YMAX, right? Drawing the value down over time. They won't do that with YMAG, well, we hope, right? So, yeah, there's that. So that's why I went to YMAG. Had nothing to do with the weekly pay. For me, it's it's neutral, and I think it's a neutral move. People are like, oh my gosh, it's great. Then other people are like, this is horrible. I don't know, I'm in the middle. I think it's neutral. I could take it or leave it, and I don't think it's going to impact investing one way or the other. People say weekly, you know, paid weekly distributions, you can compound faster, maybe. But, you know, I, I haven't put a calculator to it. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, defiance, going to be paid weekly. Another one. Um, okay, again, for me, neutral, don't care. Now, um, I will say what has me a little concerned with IWMY, and I know they're changing their name to whatever. Um, with the NAV continually going down, okay, and being paid weekly during a prolonged downtrend in the market or in the Russell, will it hurt IWMY being paid weekly? We're going to find out, I reckon. Okay. Yield Max switching up pay dates. I don't know. If, I'm sure all of y'all have seen this by now. It was all the buzz this morning. Right? Yield Max is to compete with Round Hill products coming out. Yield Max is being preemptive. And they're changing their schedule. Like, there's like four funds that are going to be paid the first week. Four different funds can be paid the second week. 
third week, fourth week, right? They're breaking down all their funds to pay in different weeks. Smart move by Yield Max. Again, um, that doesn't, I mean, I'm not a guy that I care about like being paid every week or whatever. It's It doesn't affect me whatsoever. But, you know, when you're retired, it does make life easier to, um, when you're getting paid every week to budget. Can you still budget and if you get paid once a month? Absolutely. Does it make it easier if you get paid weekly? Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, it, it's good. It's fine. So, some of my positions will be paid one week, like Navetti. And maybe, uh, and I think AMZ going to be paid a different week. BB going to be paid another week. So, they're not going to weekly payers with those. They're just changing their payout schedule so that these four will be paid, these four will be paid, right? I think it's a good move from a business standpoint to see what's coming down the pipeline from your competition, okay? And make your plans accordingly. So now Rand Hill thought that they had the upper hand or whatever with their weekly pairs. Now they see what Yield Max is doing and changing. Um, so we'll see what what Round Hill's counter move is. I don't, I don't know. So, all in all, here's my thoughts. Defiance Weekly Pay, I don't care. YMAG, YMAX Weekly Pay, don't care. The different schedule of Yield Max funds, I do like. I do like that. Um, and you know what? Is it the dopamine rush that everybody, I mean, people have been screaming from the rooftops to be paid weekly. And they've done it. I mean, does that mean that more people are going to get into yield max because of this? Or are you going to sell your round hill positions to get back into yield max? I don't know if that's going to play out but I do think it will help keep existing customers uh, from leaping to Round Hill because of their weekly payers uh, so I think that's kind of why they did it I don't know if it's really going to attract new customers or not it may, it may I don't know but I think uh, it's a good move for them to keep their existing customer base and as a business owner I applaud the move I think it's smart on their end to make these kind of adjustments I like to see businesses that I'm involved with whether I invest in them own them what, what, whatever uh, silent partner um, as an investor like I got a couple other things that, that I, I have going on um, do I I like when I see those business owners making these kinds of adjustments to be fluid know your competition listen to your customers and make changes accordingly good move I think bye I don't know I think it's a great move let me know what you think. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scalper. Out. Oh.